Hello everybody, I'm Tim Graves, co-founder of the Graves Golf Academy. And I'm actually out here today at Ely Callaway Performance Center with um, David Neville, actually Senior Director of Brand Manager of Callaway. Am I right? You got it right. Okay, you got, got it right. right. I got go. it right. I was, I, was, I, was, I worked in that hard. This is the hardest part of my conversation with David. Um, anyway, we, I, guys, you know this. I come out here every year and I like to talk to new equipment, especially with the experts. And he is by far one of the experts on this. In fact, you guys are going to find this out really quick. But tell tell those at home, tell those that we're talking to a little bit more about what you do at Callaway. Yeah, so I'm Senior Director of Brand Management. Mm -hmm. So I, I handle all the brand and products for the drivers, fairways, irons, hybrids, and wedges. So. Everything but the putter. Yeah, everything but the putter. You got to talk to Sean about the putter right. as well. So keeps me busy, but uh, I love it. You know, Mr. Callaway wanted to make clubs for all golfers. So we have tour players out here getting right. fit right next to right us. Right next to us, yeah. Um, but we have stuff for game improvement golfers, for higher handicaps. We have something for everybody. Right. And that's what Mr. Callaway was all about. He wanted to make golf fun. He wanted to make products that, that helped you enjoy the game. Right, and, and that's the best thing that we see. The number one thing we see with Callaway is that we have players that just started the game to players that are literally playing the mini tours, trying to mm -hmm. get in the tour mm -hmm. and everything in between. Now obviously our average player is somebody that's trying to cut their handicap in half. Sure. You know, A lot of times it's that senior player who's mm -hmm. out there playing for 20, 30 years. That's a 20 handicapper that's trying to get better. And then you have equipment for everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of what you do here. But more importantly that, than that is the technology. Yeah. You know, because it, I think all companies say we have stuff for everybody. But nobody, I'm going to say this to you, and I mean this wholeheartedly, there's no way they even get close to this technology. And that's why I, have, well, I want to talk to you about yep. this day. Because we have some different products here, and the, you know, I want to talk about the new technology for this year. Yep. And I've got to hit some of it already. It's amazing stuff. I mean, you got tour players out here working on getting into their bag. I've already seen it out on the tour. Mm -hmm. I mean, when some people have, don't even know what's out there yet, but it's already out on the yeah, tour, a right. lot of it. So let's talk about this. And first thing we have in the hand is the new Epic Speed Driver, mm -hmm. right? And I'm gonna let you go at it with this. And I'm gonna bring up some kind of nuances that mm -hmm. I put into the equipment with our students. Mm -hmm. But if you talk about in general, about the principles behind this driver, what you guys do with this driver, and then we'll go from there and just kind of why this is such a great product for them, what it's all about. The big story here is we're bringing artificial intelligence to the, the jailbreak system for the first time. So jailbreak was really the technology that got us the number one in drivers. What it did is stiffen the body of the driver, so connecting the crown and sole together to make the body stiffer. Now I'm gonna pull a little something out of my pocket here. This is the new jailbreak speed frame. Check this out. That's Get this on camera, what you Sean. See. Yeah. That's what you see on TV with all the guys. Yeah, and everybody, <laughs> all the guys are holding it up right, um, right. like this. So what is this all about? So we use artificial intelligence to engineer the, the jailbreak speed frame for the first time. It's all new, it's different. So instead of just helping in the vertical direction, it's also helping in the horizontal direction and torsionally as well. So what does that mean for your golfers? Not just high ball speed in the center of the face, but high ball speed and consistent spin rates if you miss the center of the face. And we know that all golfers do that, whether it's a tour pro to a high handicap golfer. Right. So let's, well, I'm going to talk, so now, that, that was the expert talking. Now I'm going to back it about three steps down for yeah. me, okay, so yeah, for the guys at home. So basically what you said there was it's now more forgiving from heel to toe. Is that, yep. that what you yep. said? Because mm -hmm. before when you would, the, the ball would compress into the face and you had up and down, so was, the bars were holding up and down or the jailbreak was holding up and down, it would kind of... So we had a lot of vertical stability. Right. Now I put this thing in here and it's wider, you have a full frame, it's helping you in the horizontal and also the twisting direction, which we call the torsional direction as well. So when you miss hit it off center, the club wants to twist. This is going to reduce that amount of twist, which helps you with more ball See, that's something, I, that's something I learned just new right now. Mm -hmm. I knew that it would help with just the horizontal, but also mm -hmm. helps in the twisting. In the twisting, yeah. That, it reduces the amount of twisting. Basically. So you guys have done a lot of testing, obviously. Mm -hmm. So you yep, test yep. this against the top driver, you know, even the Maverick compared to last mm -hmm. year, which was an amazing driver. Mm -hmm. Still is an amazing driver. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a top driver. You always are going to be better the next year. You're trying to. This this, this is the number one. I mean, this is this is the best out there, am I right? Yeah, this is the fastest Epic that we've ever had. We have three models. We'll talk through each of the three models. The Max model is going to be the most forgiving Epic that we've ever had. We're talking about 9,000. MOI, we can get into okay. that, and an all new Max LS for the better player, also. Right, right, so you got three different versions. Yep. You got the Epic Speed, mm -hmm. you got the Max, and the Max, the Max LS. LS. Okay, yes. and that. So now, before we go into that, before we go into more specific about each one of the different mm -hmm. models, when you, if somebody came to you and they said, and I'm just going to ask this, I think I've asked you this before, but somebody said, you know, it seems like every year they come with a new driver, every mm -hmm. company comes yeah, with a new driver yeah, every yeah. year. What is your, I want, I want, you're the expert. You guys are the ones doing it. I mean, I'm out here in Carlsbad. I'm out here talking to the guys who create the drivers. Yeah. And I'm having to answer this at home, <laughs> okay? So I'm having to explain why a new driver comes in every year. Kind of talk to the people at home yeah. about this a little bit. Tell them about what you guys actually do behind these drivers 
in about you know how often this product comes out and why. If you could tell yeah, me. Yeah, I mean, there's years and years of research that are going into every single one of these drivers. You know, and you think about a, a car. New models come out every year. They make them better. There might be new infotainment system, or the engine is better, or the brakes are better. Same with iPhones. You know, look sure. at your iPhone from five years ago or no, ten years ago. Okay. Same thing with drivers. Think about the drivers that people were hitting in the year 2000. Right. And think about the drivers that are hitting in 2005 and 2010. And if you look at it year to year, some people say, oh, it doesn't get that much better. Look at it maybe in a little bit wider time frame, and we're improving it. One of the things we've made a huge investment in is AI and in supercomputing. Right. And we had other companies saying, oh, we use computers too. Sure you do, but we're doing artificial intelligence and machine learning. What does that allow us to do? For something like this speed frame, we made hundreds of different prototypes and models and looked at all different options and what was going to be the one that worked the best for this type of driver. So I want to talk about it for two seconds there, because you just said it, because this is something we throw to him. You said hundreds of different yep. prototypes or models, yep. right? Yep. I mean, you go through many, many. There's more you throw away than you'll ever use, isn't yep. there, by it's far? It's the same with the face. We typically, what we used to be able to do is maybe six or seven different faces, and then we would pick the best one, and we say we're going with that. Now we can do 15,000 different faces, <laughs> you know? And the computer is, 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 is spitting right. it out and saying which one is going to work. We're able to put in more different characteristics of what we want. So not just high ball speed in the center of the face, but what we want to have for spin rates, for durability concerns, for high on the toe, low on the heel, right. all of that. And our investment in artificial intelligence has put us way ahead, we believe, of all of our competitors also. And, and so we'll come back to this original thing you said here, then I want to get into individual heads here, the different size types. So basically, now with all that being said, so we're talking AI, techno AI technology, thousands of different types of prototypes and things you're doing, but it ultimately comes back to what factor? To make the golfer what easier, am I right? Easier yeah, it's all about ball speed, distance, and making easy to, easier to hit, you know, tighter downrange dispersion, it's and, all those things. And so, and what he means by tighter downrange dispersion, obviously a little bit more accuracy, yeah. more consistency. Mm -hmm. But the beauty of this driver, and we got a chance to take it out about a week ago and really test it. Mm -hmm. we, that was the first time. And the real thing I saw in this was the miss hits. The, mm -hmm. the toe and the heel miss hits seemed stronger, seemed it came back more. I mean, and so it seemed compared to the driver. And the other drivers are great. Yeah. But on this one, it seemed like you really pushed that area of the miss hit. So for the average player or even the below average player, it seems like this is going to be a huge advantage. Yeah, for sure. So with the GBV Epic, which came out in the 2017, we really focused on the, the center punch hits, right. really getting that ball speed as high as we, we could. Epic Flash was the first one to use AI in the face. Right. Now we're looking for that more stability as well. We already have tons of speed. So if you hit it center punch, it's going for Forever, right. but a lot of people don't hit it center oh, yeah, punch. Yeah, you know, yeah. They're hitting it out in the toe, they're hitting it on the heel, and so what you were seeing is both that ball speed staying higher, but also the spin rate consistency. Right. So when you hit it out on the high toe, it doesn't drop six, 700 RPM and fall out of the sky. It's still hitting right. the fairway, and it's still going to be a long, a long shot. Because it's interesting, a lot of the better players out there, Tiger's been one of those guys, that he'll say, the company's new drivers, new drivers, but for that great player who hits the sweet spot pretty much every time, it's not as big a deal. But for that average player, it's yeah. a huge deal, and that's what you're seeing. Yeah, and, and, and tour players don't hit at the center of the face no, all they the don't. time They uh, don't, either, they don't. You know? um, but, but just take a foot powder spray and spray your face and go to the range, and you see people hit it all over the face, right? right? So you need to have high ball speed all throughout the face. And that's what you get with the epic, mm -hmm. epic speed, all right. all right. Yeah, so we'll start with the epic speed, okay. you know, and that's what you're holding, that's what right. I'm holding here. One of the things, I'll let you hold that for a second, because uh, I want to hold this up to the camera and show this, is the, the shape here. This has a cyclone arrow shape, so really the back of this driver is almost taken out. And what that's going to make this is really more aerodynamic. You have the air coming over here, and you have the back of this kind of taken out. So this is going to be our fastest head. This is our fastest head. It's going to fit a lot of golfers. Okay. It's going to go uh, forever. One of the things you'll see is it both has a carbon crown, but also the carbon toe patch. And that allowed us to get that draw bias, but also raise the forgiveness, raise the MOI of this. This is going to be much more forgiving than the, the Maverick standard model. Okay. So it's going to be faster than that, but also much more forgiving. That's the epic speed. Okay, now you got the epic speed, the, the max. The, the max. Okay. So the max, this is what I would call more of a traditional forgiveness model. Right. Big shape, you can just see it. I mean, right. I'll hold these up to the camera. You sure. can see how big sure. this is, stretch from back to front. You have the sliding weight track that, that's going to give you the adjustability. This is 9,000 MOI, you know, MOI, moment of inertia, resistance to twisting. It's the most forgiving epic that we've ever made, ever, ever, ever. The max. The max. Right. And so for a player who's kind of hitting it all over the face, right. maybe struggling with a slice, a little bit higher handicapper, right. the max is going to be a great 
option for them. And if you want to get even more draw bias, say you're fighting a slice, you put this weight into the heel, you put it in the draw setting on the hosel, and you're good to go. So, and, that, and talk about this adjustability for one mm -hmm. minute here, because you brought it back. Mm -hmm. So you brought the adjustability. Mm -hmm. This is a big deal for a lot yeah. of my students. We, I brought this a lot. In fact, the ones I've had going out and demoing right now, they're all over this Max. Mm -hmm. They love mm -hmm. this Max because the the longer face, yep. got more heel and toe forgiveness mm -hmm. on this, yep. and then adjustability. adjustability. And talk yep. about that for one more second for me, because you brought it back. So it's kind yeah. of for some yeah. people, it's going to be new. The adjustable perimeter weight. It's probably one of our most popular technologies. And what you have is you have 17 grams of weight here. You can either move it up to the toe, which is going to make it a little bit more fade bias mm -hmm. to kind of a neutral. You can put it in the back center where it is right now. That's going to make it as forgiving as possible. Or you put it in the heel, and that's going to help you with the draw. It's infinite adjustability. So what you see with some of the other companies is they have a weight. Maybe you can move it in two or three positions. Right. This you can move in any. You can you can tweak it a little bit. You can tweak it a lot, and it's going to give you about 15 yards of shot shape correction just on the weight. Wow. And then you have the, the hosel as well. Adjustment. You put the the hosel adjustment in there. Now you're talking about 20 plus yards of shot shape correction. So that's taking one of your students who, who could be off the fairway or in the woods and right. bringing them back to the fairway. Right. And that's so, huge. And we talk about that. You know, we we promote that we're going to work on our swings. We're going to get better, more accurate. But it takes time. Yep. So until they're getting through that, they can adjust it and start bringing it back. Right. That's what we're talking about. Bringing it back to neutral eventually. Yeah. Eventually. Hopefully. Eventually. But yeah. You know, but we love this forgiveness. It's yep. been very very popular. One thing I want to talk, and then they actually have an Epic Max LS. Yep. And, and, and describe a little bit about the Max yeah, LS. Yeah, so the Max LS is going to be a lot like the Max, still very forgiving, but lower spin. Typically for your better player, this is the one we're going to see out on tour okay. a lot. Has a little bit of a lighter slider, sliding weight in there, more of a neutral CG. So what that means is instead of having the draw bias right. to it, it's kind of a straight. Because okay. a lot of those better players, they actually like to hit a little cut because they swing it so right. fast and they're hitting a little, a little cut. You see that with a lot of tour players. The LS is going to be perfect for that. We're going to see that in a lot of tour player bags. Now I'm going to ask you another question here, and, and it's kind of a loaded question here. Okay? <laughs> and, and I'll tell you why, because I've been doing a lot of experimentation, a lot of things with, you know, we get the Bryson effect. And the Bryson mm -hmm. is they get the longer drivers the yep. and hitting it further. And so all of a sudden, we call it the Bryson effect. Mm -hmm. And we bring that out because we're single plane. Mm -hmm. So obviously, a lot of it comes, we get a lot of questions about that. But I'm going to ask you a two-fold question here. Mm -hmm. Number one is I want to talk to you just a little bit about shaft weighting, mm -hmm. okay? Just in general. And kind of your personal opinion mm -hmm. of it, because when I my students, you know, most of my students are 55, 6 years age mm -hmm. older, okay, and they're hitting regular flex, senior flex mm -hmm. shafts, yep. and I tend to bring the shaft weight down a little bit for them yep. on the shaft. Kind of, I would like to hear about your opinion of that about yep. shaft weighting or. Yeah, so my, my personal opinion and my opinion based on what people I've talked to and the research and all that is to try to swing as light a possible shaft that you can control. Right. I love that. Um, so. Uh, for some players, you know, if you're Bryson or you're right, swinging right, at 100, right. 130 miles an hour and you give them a 40 gram shaft, no I mean, way. it's going to go all over, it'll probably break it, first of all, second <laughs> yeah, of all, right. it'll probably go all over the place. Right. But you're talking about somebody maybe who's swinging at 80, 85 Absolutely. miles an hour, yep. 90 yep. miles an hour. If they can get away with a shaft maybe in the low 50s, right. even in the high 40s, right. and still control that, yep. that's going to help them. It's going to give them probably two or three miles an hour more club head speed. And Which that could is a lot. Yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten yards, yards. Um, yep. there. Now, if, if they start spraying, it mm -hmm. you can go either to a little stiffer flex mm -hmm. or you go to a little bit uh, heavier in the weight class when we do our fittings we're always trying to get people in the right weight class right. and we're trying to get them in the right flex right you know and we we're constantly working on their swings so we're trying to get them more consistent yep. and so on with their swings but we also they come to me for dis speed and they come to me for distance yep. they want that so the first thing i was asking obviously is about the you know the weight of the shaft next question i have for you is about the length and yep. that's become a big deal yep. because you hear the Bryce effect again, you know, wanting to add length and length. Now, the standard length of the new speed is 45.75. Correct. Okay. You got it. So yep. talk, talk to them a little bit about people at home, just in general, about yep. what you've seen about adding length to a driver. Because yep. then, then I'll give you my opinion. Yeah, okay. yeah I want to hear okay. yours, okay. too. Okay. But we've been doing a bunch of testing around this. Okay. It's really, really interesting. So you talk about the Bryson effect, but mm -hmm. also Phil Mickelson's been using the, the longer shaft, absolutely right. hitting bombs. You know, right. he's you saw him in the match. You saw him winning uh, Champions Tour events. Dylan Fertelli, who's in our staff, has gone to a longer length, 47 uh, inch. So we've done some testing. I've done some testing with it personally, uh, where um, a Garrett, who worked here, got my gamer shaft. We we're doing it with the Maverick mm -hmm. driver. So our exact setup, but we went from, instead of being at 45.5 of where I was, mm -hmm. to 47, so an inch and a half longer. It was a really interesting transition. The ball started launching really, really high in the air. Definitely was was uh, longer. I had a little bit of a dispersion issue until I right. kind of got used to it. But the other guys who were testing it, you know, all low handicap 
uh, golfers, they actually did really well uh, with the longer uh, length shaft. And we've also done some testing with some higher handicappers, slower swing speed, mm -hmm. and they tend to do uh, well with it as well because they, their dispersion is not normally as big because they're not swinging it quite as fast. So there's something to it. You know, I don't think it's for everybody, but I, right. uh, I'd love to hear what you've seen. Well, the biggest thing I've it. seen is that, and that's why I brought it up to you because I see that when they start putting longer shaft, length shafts in there, it takes a while to get back to the sweet spot. Yep. And so they start getting off the heel, they yep. start going, they try to yep. compensate going to the toe. Yep. So it takes them a while. And if you're a golfer that's lower handicap, they can fit into that pretty quick. Or if you're somebody that practices quite a bit yep. or understands that, they get to it. If you're not, they have difficulty getting back to that sweet yep. spot. And so I, I say, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it may be something that is added in the future or something people look at yep. in the future, but it's a lot to do within a sweet spot. Now, if you have a driver that's more forgiving, cross the face. That's, that's going to be the a, other thing I was going right. to talk about. You take a max driver that's already a lot more forgiving all over the face. Right. You can get away with making it a little bit uh, longer because it is going to be much more forgiving if you miss right. and you hit on the on the toe and the heel. But to your point, there's there's a lot of senior golfers. I think of my man Greg Brown, and you know yeah. Greg uh, really well. He yeah. works with the Callaway. A um, little bit of a senior golfer, but he hits it solid right. center. He could get away with a little bit uh, longer. Sure. You know, you get other players who are they're, they're hitting it all over the face. You give them an inch and a half longer, and right. you know they're going to have a hard time. Now, before we go, so before we go to the next topic on another club and so on, but let's talk about what's defined longer on the club. Yeah. Because 10 years ago, what was the standard length of a driver? I think it was right around 44 and a half. 44 yeah. and a half. Yeah, it's, so it's, about an I, inch and a quarter longer probably than the, where we were just about 10, 12 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Even, even five years ago, yep. 45 was pretty, that yep. was kind of the number. We're already at 45.75 yeah. now. Yeah. So anybody at home will think this is a short length driver. It is not. In <laughs> no. fact, in, no. in, in, in industry standards, yeah. that's, it's actually in the longer end. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and you know, because yep. a lot of industry standards are even, I say industry standards, but they're shorter than this. So it's already got a little bit of length yeah. to it. Yeah. So, and that's, so I, and that's part of the reason why it's a little bit longer to me and why also why guys hit it better, you know, mm -hmm. a little bit longer in this club. But because a lot of guys, when they look at this driver, they say, well, what about adding length? I'm always telling them that's a pretty long driver anyway. Yes. You know, for to, a lot of the this start. Right. The other thing is, is that, when you're, I base the length of drive a lot to do with the person's height. Mm -hmm. So if you got a five foot seven, five mm -hmm. foot eight guy, and we're putting a forty seven inch driver yeah. in there, that's that's yeah. a long. Top like Chichi ball. Rodriguez. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But taller guys all add length to it anyway. Yep. Mm -hmm. So anyway, but anything else you want to talk about in these drivers? I mean. Yeah, so I think we, we basically covered it. We feel like there's a driver out there for everybody, but just you know to recap it, the Epic Speed Driver is going to be our fastest Epic ever. It's going to fit a lot of players. You know, It's got some draw bias to it, relatively low spinning. Then we have the Max, which I think is going to be great for a ton of people right. because you know Maverick Max did phenomenally well oh, for yeah. you. This is yeah. taking Maverick Max to the next level, so even more forgiving and more speed there, and you have the adjustability, which right. is cool. Right. Max LS is going to be for your better player, a little bit lower spin, but still extremely forgiving so we feel like in the driver line we got something for everything everybody yeah. this year well i uh, thank you for your time and th thank you thank you very much for your time yeah thanks tim